I don't think it matters how you read as long as you read. And I think it looks from the sales of e-readers. I think, I, I think I'm right in saying that it looks as if it's bedding down to be just another way of reading which is absolutely fine by me. There'll always be people who'd rather read on a gadget, on a screen. There will always be people who would prefer a physical book. And funnily enough, I went to um, open a new library at my oldest grandson's school, and they were, this is a, 18 months ago, and so the boys I was talking to were between 10 and 12. They were at the sort of top of his school. And I was saying to them, you know, there are two um, e-readers in this library, do you all use them? And they said, no, absolutely not. You know, we want to read all of Anthony Horowitz, but we want to look, we want to look at our bookshelves and think we read that whole line, we read three feet of books. And I think that's a very um, understandable feeling. And whether writers will ever be happy to see their books go out just in a sort of invisible digital form, I think you need to see the physical thing there. And of course, the, the other aspect of reading digitally is that you don't own the book. You are licensed to read it, and then it's an ephemeral thing that actually belongs to somebody else. So you can't, for example, leave your library of books to your grandchildren, should you want to, because they don't belong to you, those e-books. You can't furnish a room with e-books. So I think I was always feeling, I was just waiting for the various kinds, ways of reading to bed down alongside each other. Um, and I think that's what they seem to be doing.